Nine Poway businesses were robbed over the weekend in a well-orchestrated plan that ended up in a pursuit in the Orange County. ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty talked with one business owner who says it couldn't have happened at a worse time. Just glass shatter inside, outside. Gianni Wynn came to work here at Pizza Studio in Poway only to find this. That's a pretty, pretty low blow. Around 1.30 Saturday morning, her cameras caught this. Three masked intruders broke in the front door and made a beeline to the back. They took all the cash register. They took the cash registers, but they couldn't take the safe because it's bolted to the ground. It comes at a time when business is already hurting with staffing shortages. Sales are down 40 percent. Hard is an understatement for people who are in the, the service industry, especially the food service, hospitality space, uh, especially in Poway. In December 2019, we got hit with a water crisis. And it was, that took the whole month. And then three months later, a little bit less, March hit and then we had COVID. So we've been shut down, the city's been shut down. It was an orchestrated event in all nine businesses and three locations were hit in under 30 minutes. Seven locations here at Creekside alone. Baskin Robbins, Jamba Juice, Chipotle, Subway, Tika Lounge, the Habit Burger Grill and Pizza Studio. Within a 10 minute time frame, they were able to gain access into all those buildings by breaking the front glass of the door. They use a window punch of some sort. San Diego County Sheriff's Detective Sergeant Ben Chasson says the three suspects didn't make off with much, but they had a busy night. Suspects hit Bonita, Mission Valley and Imperial Beach. After a pursuit into Orange County, three suspects were finally busted. The cameras are so good nowadays that we have very good video of the subjects and the vehicle. Wynn says her tip jar was cleaned out too, but she's just grateful no one was hurt. I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. Vanessa Van Hefty, ABC 10 News. In all, the crooks only made off with $1,000 because most places didn't have any cash in the registers.